this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today 2020 Subaru Outback. This vehicle features a 2.4 liter gasoline engine with all wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported of Carfax and this vehicle has had two previous owners. As we get closer to the front here, you'll be able to see this vehicle is a sleek metallic autumn green with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the front grille as well as down around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at this vehicle's tires and wheels. This vehicle features black 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels, and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter so you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the outside of your mirror caps, you do have your turn to the indicator integrated into those. And I also do want to mention that these mirrors are heated, which will help to prevent them from fogging up, as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. Over here on the handles, this vehicle does feature passive keyless entry. Passive keyless entry is really convenient because if your vehicle is locked, you'll be able to get into it without having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. One last thing before we take a look here to the inside of the vehicle is up there on top, you do have black roof rails if you ever wanted to transport anything up there. Well, now take a look here to the inside of this vehicle. Here on the inside of the vehicle, you do have lovely light and dark gray leather upholstery on your seats for a smooth and comfortable ride, as well as an easy cleanup after any spills. And you have some lovely light green stitching to really accent that. Like I had mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making their way up the dashboard. And while we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring you the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here on this inspection form, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire sheds, you have 8 30 seconds in all of your tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 12 30 seconds in both the front and the rear. So you have a long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. You also have the original owner's manual with the purchase of this vehicle, so if you have any questions, you'll be able to look them up in there. I'll now come along to take a look at the rear occupant seating. This vehicle can seat a total of five people, but if you seat four or less, this middle seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with two cup holders in it. You also have USB charging ports back here for these rear occupants, pockets on the backs of both of those front seats, and then these rear seats are heated, which will really help to keep them warm in the winter. Down on the floor, you do have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. And we'll take a look over here at the doors because all of the doors do have cup holders in them, as well as powered windows. I'll just close that door and we'll continue around to take a look now at the rear of this SUV. All along the bottom of the bumper here, you do have several little dots. Those are your rear proximity sensors and they will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking. And you also have a backup camera to go along with that and a camera on the front as well. I'll just put the tailgate up so you can see how much space you have there in the rear. And as you'll be able to see, it does go up by itself as it is a powered lift gate. As you'll be able to see here in the rear, you do have a good amount of space to put some pretty large items, suitcases, groceries, you name it. And you also have a retractable sun and privacy visor as well if you wanted to protect whatever you put back here in this rear area not only from the sun but from any curious passerbys. I'll just put that back. Those seats in front do have top and bottom anchor tether points if you have little ones who need car seats and they also fold down to give you a lot more space and this retractable visor easily comes out as well. In fact these seats fold down so easily because they have handles right here. I'll just put the seatbelt up and take the visor out so you can see how much space you really have back here. Alright, as you'll be able to see with those seats folded down, you have got a lot of space to haul some pretty significant items. You also have several anchor points along the back here if you wanted to strap down said significant items from shifting around as you drive. You also have this trunk mat here to protect this back area from any scratches, whatever you put in here might give it. And underneath the floorboards, you do have a spare tire if you're ever in a pinch. I'll just put this tailgate back down. And we'll continue around here now to the driver's side. This SUV does have powered mirrors, powered windows, and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have eight-way powered seating adjustments, so you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and then two-directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can push it in and out as well as up and down to fit you as you like. 
and to the left of that steering wheel you just have your dashboard backlight controls and again that powered tailgate button. And I'll just get in this vehicle and turn it on for you. Alright, with the engine's up and running, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 56,115 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, because over here you do have your dashboard navigation buttons, so with these you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Right above those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your Bluetooth and call controls, as this vehicle does have smartphone integration, and you also have your volume controls right above it. To the right side of the steering wheel, you do have your lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control is really convenient because you can basically set a certain speed to cruise along the highway at, but if you end up following behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically match their speed. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen LED display, and you also have built-in navigation with this vehicle as well to help prevent you from ever getting lost. I'll just put this vehicle in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. You also have a front facing camera as well, so you can see whatever's underneath this vehicle in front too. You'll also be able to see that this, the mirrors to this vehicle are heated to help prevent them from fogging up as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. And you also have heated front seats as well. Underneath that large LED display, you do have USB charging ports, an aux cord plug-in, and a small space for something like your phone, your parking brake, main gear shift, two cup holders, and then your storage compartment behind it with a top tray and a bottom larger space with another power outlet inside. Underneath your mirrors, you do have built-in garage door openers there. And then the last thing I would like to mention before the last section of the video is that you do have a powered sunroof on top to really enjoy the sunny summer days. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. In the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to make the purchasing process as straightforward and transparent as we can. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, you do have some stains here on the ceiling, in the back passenger side, and a few more here. And you have a faint one there on the dashboard, but other than those, nothing is really standing out to me. So I'll move along here now to the outside of this vehicle. We'll be, looking, we'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. We've got a scuff there on the outside of that mirror cap. We'll come along here now to the front. Here along the front I do see several small nicks, most likely from stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has some form of it. The only way you can really prevent them is just by not driving your vehicle. This vehicle also has comparatively very few compared to a lot of other vehicles I have seen. Just because you have this black plastic that is resistant to a lot of that. You have some scuffing along there. Come along here now to the passenger side. Some staining on that mirror and a scuff there. A few small scratches. From there. We'll be coming along now to the rear of the vehicle here. Not often where I do tend to see nicks and scratches is where the tailgate meets the bumpers. People don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And you can see you do have some faint faint scratching here in a few places. And then along the bumper here, we did touch it up, but it is there. You do have some scuffs and nicks along the bumper there. I'll just put the tailgate back down and we'll continue back around to the driver's side. And we are back to where we started. 
that generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a green mid-size SUV with the ability to seat five, easy to fold down seats, carpeted floor mats, an all-weather trunk mat, a sun and privacy visor, a backup and front camera, rear proximity sensors, black roof rails, a built-in garage door opener, built-in navigation, a power sunroof, heated front and rear seats, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, passive keyless entry, heated mirrors, and all-wheel drive, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive, located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this four-door wagon and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.